way, we're going for a sin nombre. Expect resistance. On me, so. Orale! Digitally pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and play the campaign up to a week early. So how is it going, Dank Division? And I'll apologize now because this mission immediately brings back some PTSD for a lot of you. But it's also the one mission that honestly feels like that video that we just saw at the very beginning. Now, why exactly? Well, similar vibe, similar color scheme. Just overall, the vibe of just that 15 seconds that we got should have you a little bit worried. Now, why exactly is that? Well, everyone's talking about what they see, but they're not focusing on the title of the mission. Backstabbed. I'm sorry, backstabbed? That, that's the name of the mission? Backstabbed? That begs the question, okay, who's backstabbing who? Is it going to be a member of Task Force 141? Is it going to be a member of, let's say, the Ultra Nationalists, etc., turning on their own kind? We don't know. But, with that being said, let's talk about a couple of key things that we see. First off, let's talk about this flag that we see for a brief moment in the background. Please help me, because I have no idea what this flag is. I have been searching constantly for flags, and while originally I was like, oh, that looks like Barbados, but it's like, no, that's not Barbados. Because that would mean there'd have to be a Triton in the middle, and that's obviously not a Triton. But, uh, yeah, help me out trying to figure out that one. But that's not the one that has a little bit of attention going. It's the fact that we see someone running a shield and firing a gun at the same time. Now everyone's losing their shit because initially they're thinking, Oh, this means that maybe the players will be able to do that. Um, guys, this wouldn't be the first COD game to do this. And it won't be the last. Now, why do I say that? Modern Warfare 2 did it, in which case when you're fighting in the Gulag, you have all those guys come out with shields and guns. You have it that Modern Warfare 3 does it, which I remember doing survival. You call in the guys with the shields and they'll cover pretty much your ass and them dying does not exactly happen that often. So, not that I'm going to say don't get your hopes up, but keep an open mind that there are some things that they let the AI do that they won't let us do. By all means, I would love the opportunity to be able to have a shield and actually fire a gun. The closest we ever got to being able to to fire a gun while using our shield roughly at the same time was Black Ops 2 when you could actually stick the assault shield in the ground, take cover behind it, and fire your gun. But that was pretty much the last time that we really saw anything like that. Everything else has just been, okay, you have a riot shield and no gun. You can't use your pistol, you can't use a shotgun, nada. When, let's face it, we'd all love the opportunity to pretty much play this like Rainbow Six Siege where you pull out the shield fire a pistol, and people can pretty much pick you off by shooting your arm, or shooting your feet, etc. But, with that being said, I want to see the comment section. Tell me what you guys think of just that 15 second clip. Do you have it in you, that if let's say, worse comes to worse, and a member of Task Force 141 actually betrays 141, are you going to have it in you to actually take down one of the members? I'll actually use a good example. What if it's so? What if you have to kill someone that you have pretty much loved as a character all this time and hell, spoiler alert for the original Modern Warfare 3, had it that he died and it's like, I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do what needs to be done. And that would be a hell of a twist to pull on us because let's face it, Modern Warfare 2019 pushed the boundaries of making you do things that are you questioning your morals. And mm, let's put it this way. Modern Warfare 2 is the sequel and you know they're going to be pushing boundaries. So in that comment section down below, I want to hear your thoughts. And with that being said, I will get a couple of videos out. It may take me a little bit of time seeing as how I'm currently waiting for my test results back from COVID and I have to keep stopping the recording when I cough. But I will do my best to get some content out over the weekend. So to all of you out there, don't forget to click that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, follow us on all of our socials. You guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing, do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off.
Get them to click that subscribe button deck. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What did the numbers mean, Dick? We're wasting valuable time.